Warning, this is an X-rated sketch. All viewers who would be easily shocked by a frank depiction of the depraved behavior of the jazz mad children of the 1920s are hereby cautioned to tune out. Set it right down here, honey. Here's your tip. Just one? Don't be greedy. These lips have to last me the whole semester. Just a crazy, carousing, wild college kid who thinks of nothing but, I don't know. Gee, I love this part. <laughs> well, I might as well start packing. Or unpacking. <laughs> I don't know which one I like better. <laughs> All my life, women have found me irresistible. I've broken up more homes than the freeway. <laughs> now, I hear this college is full of beautiful girls, so I'm gonna have to pace myself. <laughs> I just hope my roommate can handle the overflow. <laughs> yeah, I sure hope I sure hope he's charming and witty, sophisticated. A real man about town. That's what I want for a roommate. Hardy, he told me my stall was in here. <laughs> I thought they canceled Hee Haw. <laughs> That's mighty neighborly of you to make me feel at home like that. My name's Goober. I just flew in from Calabasas. He must have caught the five o'clock chicken. <laughs> hey, what's this? Oh, I'm a croupier in the barnyard. I'm afraid we're roommates. Really? I never roomed with anybody before, except for that first week at the hospital with my mother. <laughs> I'm an only child, you know. I'm not surprised. <laughs> Look, Goober, I don't know what you came to college for, but I'm here for fun, for girls. You know, vote o do See? Girls? Yeah. You know, they're the ones with the lumpy sweaters. <laughs> Don't you know anything about sex? I sure do. That's when the hen house suddenly gets quiet. <laughs> Listen. What's the furthest you've ever gone with a girl? Oh, about eight miles. <laughs> I have a bad transmission. <laughs> have you ever had anything real sexy happened to you? Yeah, once. <laughs> I was milking the cow and my fielder's mitt fell off. <laughs> well, that's nothing. Maybe nothing to you, but the cow never forgot. <laughs> hey, listen. Just coming here to school, a girl got on at Scranton, see? I invited her into the smoking car, had two cigarettes with her, <clears throat> Put my arm around her, and I want to tell you something. She went all the way. Holy mackerel. To Buffalo? <laughs> yeah, Buffalo, Buffalo. Boy, 
I wish I knew all about women. I'll teach you. Listen, women are like a fine violin. You gotta know how to play them. And you're gonna teach me? <laughs> what is the first thing you do when you go out with a girl? Well, I park in a dark spot. Uh-huh. Then I... Come here. <laughs> oh, gosh, you're kidding. <laughs> really? <laughs> and then I... <laughs> no, no, no. Try this side. That one's barbecued. <laughs> I think you're ready. Yeah. I'm going to get you a date. With a girl? You got to start somewhere. <laughs> I'll check my little black book. Here's one. Here's one as a real peach. 36, 24, 36. What's the area code? <laughs> I'm gonna tell her I'm you. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Operator, get me Lexington 71432. Hello, is this Debbie? This is Goober Hope, the Casanova of the campus. How are you fixed for thrills? <laughs> well, I'm not a med student, but I'll keep you in stitches. <laughs> what? The quadrangle in 20 minutes? Fine. Stay puckered up. <laughs> Bye. You're all set, Goober. Really? Go out and live. OK. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm getting my feelers met. <laughs> Goober. <laughs> How'd you know it was me? Well, you look like a goober. <laughs> Here, sit down. Well, I'm cold. Yeah, it does get nippy this time of year. Why don't you put your arm around me? I'd be silly, my arm will get cold. <laughs> <laughs> Say, uh, do you come from the farm? How do you know? Well, you walk like a man who's not sure of his footing. <laughs> and these hands, they're big and strong. They look like the hands of a man who gets what he wants. <laughs> oh, say, you're a fast worker. <laughs> yeah, and that's without my fielders, man. <laughs> Take my lips. Huh? Take my lips. Why, are you through with them? <laughs> oh, I wish I hadn't done that. Why? Now I'll have to marry you. You are without a doubt the most asinine, inept, insensitive clod I have ever met. Gee, you're not only pretty, you're smart. <laughs> You're back, huh? How'd you make up? Oh, I can't tell you now. I'm pooped. <laughs> that good, huh? Oh, what a night. <laughs> Hope she still respects me. <laughs> I don't know about her. You went up 10 points with me. <laughs> I'm plumb tuckered out. I'm gonna turn in. Well, aren't you gonna take off your clothes? No, I don't want to hold up the sketch. Good night. <laughs> he'd never fall asleep. <laughs> Operator, get me Lexington 7142. Debbie, this is Goober. I gotta see you again. Your kiss is still burning my lips. <laughs> Nobody kisses like you do. Hey, who are you talking to? The football coach. <laughs> I thought he walked kind of funny. <laughs> Listen, Debbie, I can't sleep, I can't eat. My heart is pounding. 
My knees turned to water. Hey, who are you talking to now? My draft board and shut up. <laughs> Look at Debbie, if you don't see me, I'll, I'm gonna kill myself. What do you mean you thought I already was dead? <laughs> the quadrangle in 20 minutes? Debbie, you're the cat's meow. <laughs> You're Debbie, right? Where's Goober? He had to go back to the farm. The cow was expecting. <laughs> expecting what? Him. She won't let no one else touch her. Oh, I know just how she feels. That's why he sent me here. To break it to you. Who are you? I'm Speedy Cabelsi. <laughs> Better known on the campus as the love machine. Well, you look like you're short a few parts. <laughs> We're wasting time. How about a kiss? But I'm not that kind of a girl. Well, you don't have to treat me any different than you did him. But I miss Goober. I can't go on without him. Come on. Really? What kind of a girl do you think I am? Whatever kind, I'll have to live with it. <laughs> Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Gosh, I feel so left out, I don't even have my fielder's mitt. <laughs> hey, Goober, we were just talking about you. Never mind that. What are you doing fooling with my girl? I'm trying to get her to Buffalo. <laughs> Besides, who says she's your girl? She fell for me. Oh, bourgeois. Bourgeois? I'm the one she's crazy about. Now, wait a minute. Now, hold it, fellas. Let's settle this fairly. You can both kiss me, and then I'll decide. All right. No, 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 wait a minute. No, wait a minute. One at a time is so violent. You're first. Mm-hmm. Well, what do you think? I think I'll buy an electric blanket. <laughs> How do you like that? I'll never talk to another girl as long as I live. Me neither. Can you direct me to the girls' dormitory? Well, of course. It's that building right over there. Thank you. Hey. What? You steered her wrong. That's the men's dormitory. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> <laughs> 